Okay, kiddos. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to go to Google Classroom, click on Slice Crafter, and it'll open the program. So what you want to do is go ahead and find a file. So I'll go ahead and click here, download this one. The easiest thing to do is click right here right away. That way, the folder, well, actually the zip file and its folders are right here. Okay. Now, if for some reason you click and it doesn't do that, you can always go here. Look for this blue folder. If you don't see it, you can click here. Go to Files. Go to your recent downloads. And double click this. Okay, and that should put it over here, which is called mounting it. Okay, so it's mounted. Now I have access to it. We'll go to Slice Crafter. Remember, let's use this sidebar right here. Because if we use the trackpad, we will start changing the view of this. Okay, so let me go back up here. I'm going to load my STL. Again, I have this here. So if I don't see what I need to see, I'll click on it or click this right here and expand it. Go to Files, find the STL file that you need. Again, use this sidebar. Now you might say, well, I don't see it. Okay, so click and hold and kind of rotate it around till you see it. Okay, there it is. Now, first thing you wanna do is go to printer model. Again, use this bar. Go up to monitor price select mini V2, select that. You're gonna go down a little bit. Now my little Squares are blocking the view, but you're going to go here, double click, put this to 60 degrees, hit enter. Now, you might have asked, well, what if I need to make it bigger or smaller? That's right here where it says orientation and scale. This right here will let me flip it around. Let's see if I can get it back to where I want it to be. There it is. And let me turn that so you guys can see it. Now this, I can click anywhere and it won't change the size. See, I'm clicking it. But if I click and drag to the left, it'll make it smaller. And then I can look at it again. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna make it a little smaller than it, what it should be. And then settings, here's a quick tip because I'm not sure where it's at. So I'm gonna actually show you. If I wanna find support, okay, it's not here. So then we'll go to information and go to settings. Again, if you do a search for something, you can find it right here. Okay. Now, if it needs support, you need to add it. Once that's done and you're ready to print, you're going to click slice. Now, depending on the size of the model, how complicated it is, it might take longer to slice. So if it's not doing anything, you saw I clicked twice. I didn't click it properly. Make sure you click it. And then right here, it'll say print time. This is how long did it take to figure out how to print it. It's going to look different. That's okay. It's just showing you like the, the path it's going to travel when it does the printing. That's okay. Print time, four minutes, six seconds. Now, I might say, you know what? That's pretty quick. I want to make it a little bigger. So I'll go to orientation and scale. Now, if I keep going to the right, look, when it's 1.00, that's 100%. So if I want to make it twice as big, I keep going that way and that way till I get to two. Let me look at it. It's pretty big now. I'll click slice again. <clears throat> It's taking quite a bit longer. Now it's going to take 24 minutes, but that's okay. Maybe I want this to be giant size, okay? Now let's minimize this. You're going to go here. Go to Files. You're going to go to your recent downloads. And it's going to be the one that says Process. Now, if you process it, twice three times four times it's going to replace the one that you did the first time so don't worry about asking yourself you know what did i get the right one 
did is it you know where did it go because i did it like three or four times and i only see one that says processed this is the one it's going to overwrite that means it's going to replace the old one so you'll only see one now you'll get your sd card you'll put it in when it get, goes in you'll see this sd card so i'm going to go to my recent downloads click hold and drag to sd card see how it has a plus sign now let go you saw the little bar it's done you can click here to safely eject and then just take it out put it in the printer and set it to print and you are good to go